coming up in this read. What kind of relationships are you holding on to? What kind of relationships are you investing in? And you've got one very, very specific, important relationship that is taking the spotlight this May. Leo, we're doing your general reading for May 2023. Everything that you need to know you can already find in my description box and in my pinned comment below, including a list of the card decks that I've used for your reading. Please do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, especially if you're cross-watching. And if a part of the message doesn't resonate for you, please leave it for someone else. Also, these reads, they do tend to be a little bit more predictive in nature, so they're not necessarily going to resonate for you straight away, okay? Always, always keep an open mind, especially when you're watching a general public reading. Right, Leo, what's coming in towards you for the month of May 2023? Ooh, wow, okay. So we're going to take the top one, okay? If these ones are needing to come out, don't worry, they will come out again, okay? Sometimes I find that, that when a message is flipping, it's going to take several other messages with it, okay? Your, your card is literally the first card that's come out. Strength and success, Leo the Lion. Beautiful. You're literally standing in your own power. Um... You're, I, I feel that you're creating new rules for yourself. So you're doing away with the old, you know, like the old restrictive rules that you'd placed upon yourself. And you're creating new rules for you to live by. Yeah, the crown, success and pride. Um, <laughs> that is literally what it says on the tin, okay? A lot of success. Now, this could be either in business or love. This could be news about the leaders of your state or your country. It could be news. It could be like you um, wearing your crown, you straightening your crown. You see how you've got your energy there and then the crown? Literally, Leo's straightening their crown. Leo's remembering who the fuck they are, you know? <laughs> the bride, wife and engagement. So this one could be indicating that a connection or a relationship is going up a level, right? It can be an engagement. It could be actually making something official with another person, receiving a proposal. Now, the proposal doesn't necessarily need to be romantic, but with this particular card, oftentimes it is more romantic in nature than not, okay? This one is all about positivity, remaining positive in your relationships, right? You're coming into something a lot more serious and a lot more respectful, okay? This is also you feeling blessed in love. It's beautiful. And then you've got the groom. Uh, spooky. <sighs> um, one of the signs I've literally just done had the same combination. They had bride and groom. I think it was Taurus. Don't quote me on that, Leo. I think it was Taurus. And they had it in the exact same position as well. And with their backs turned to each other. Okay, so perhaps there's a situation here that's going on between yourself and a Taurus. Maybe you've got Taurus placements in your own chart. Maybe this is just about um, what it is that you value and you and a significant other are not valuing the same thing at this point in time, okay? They do have their backs turned to each other. I would pay attention to the direction of the cards as well, right? Um, again, same message that we had for Taurus is that disagreement, it's going to be short-lived, all right, it's under there, the rabbit pregnancy. Hmm, something, something is, uh, she got a message about fertility there with the, the rabbit. I do apologize. I, I turned away from the microphone there for a second because I heard one of the kittens scratching away. Um, 
something is growing with that rabbit energy it could also be someone scared because it plays into your fears as well you being strong in the face of adversity something unexpected also you adapting you adapting to the more recent change that's coming in okay bear in mind that's just a surface level energy right now okay we're going to take a deeper dive into it all right the lion clarified with your three of coins capricorn energy teamwork project building collaboration um yeah a strong foundation but building on something your finances are growing leo um i feel that this is about why am i getting shared resources I'm not seeing eighth house energy here at all, Leo. But I'm definitely feeling that eighth house energy, specifically of the shared resources. This could well be two people moving in with each other, debating whether or not to move in with each other. Three of coins is teamwork, working as a team. Um, feeling supported also so if currently you're feeling unsupported then that's what's going to change you will feel more supported your crown is clarified with the six of swords aquarius energy uh yeah coming coming out of the uncertainty and heading towards smoother sailing it's literally say spirit saying look leo things are going to get a lot easier for you things are going to start to make a lot more sense it, it's you um making peace with the past making peace with um any emotional burdens that sort of thing clarify the bride the lovers yeah gemini energy can be a choice in love i don't feel this is a choice in love i feel that this is uh so, so listen someone is either straight up getting engaged or married or moving in with each other um definitely things are being made official here for you leo this could be you that's initiating this with the lion and the crown you could be taking the leadership role clarify the groom please the high priestess moon energy pisces cancer uh yeah behind the veil energies knowing something but not knowing why you know something you just know that you know you know, <laughs> um, yeah, your intuition, higher knowledge, your connection with the divine, your connection with the universe, your connection with the collective, uh, you, strong, you see, you've got strong pillars and then instincts. So you're, you're listening to your instincts. Somebody could be telling you that they're afraid, that they're afraid of commitment. And it's like instinctively, you already knew that anyway. So you were trying to put their mind at ease long before that. The five of coins at the bottom of the deck. Someone feels like they're not good enough for you, Leo. Someone's got a low self-esteem. You're dealing with someone who's got confidence issues. They've got self-belief issues. So they're definitely needing to build their confidence so that they can be coming from your level. Clarify this energy, please. For our Leo Collective. What's going on for our Leo Collective? <clears throat> for the month of May. What is the Lion and the Three of Coins for Leo, please? <laughs> I love it when the cards do that. Courtship. There you go. That's what time it is. Courtship. This is absolutely categorically about a relationship that you have with another individual. Ra rather than business and, and career and finances, it's not about that. The month of May is where you're focused on how you're relating to other people and how other people are relating to you. What kind of relationships are you holding on to? What kind of relationships are you investing in? And you've got one very, very specific, important relationship that is taking the spotlight this May. Definitely. 
So if you're currently single and you've been looking for love, there's every indication that you're not going to be single for much longer. If you're already partnered up with someone, it looks like you've got brand new, fresh, exciting energy that is coming into that pre-existing relationship. It's beautiful because there's two people that are growing closer and closer and closer. And the relationship is being um, strengthened through that closeness. You can clarify the crown and the six of swords, please. Oh, for Leo. Sorry, I just had to take a pause there, Leo, because I had a little bit of a coughing fit. Um, okay, main female. So, or the lady. You could be the lady in this situation, or you could be dealing with a lady in this situation. Again, you have to keep open mind because this is a public general reading, okay? So getting the specifics of a situation. It is going to be incredibly difficult because everyone's on, everyone's on their own private little journey, okay? Um, this is the energy that is more to do with the feminine principle, all right? Which is very, very intuitive, very kind, warm and nurturing. Uh, something inviting. So I'm getting like a, a calm, warm, in, inviting experience that's going on here for the month of May. Someone's trying, I, th I think this is you, Leo, uh, you're trying to remain pleasant. Uh, you're trying to remember your manners, even in the face of ignorant people. You're certainly not allowing anyone else to pull you down to their level. Definitely. Clarify the bride with the lovers, please. <laughs> the clover. That's a lot of luck. That's gains, success. Um, keeping things lighthearted. It's lots of opportunities. Feeling untroubled. Doing something for the joy of doing it rather than feeling forced. Yeah, there's definitely more of a light-hearted energy to you throughout the month of May, Leo, certainly. Um, and also as well, we've got someone someone saying, I'm lucky to have met you. I'm, I'm lucky to have you in my life and I'm going to do everything in my power to to keep you in in my life. It doesn't feel malicious. It doesn't feel like someone's being overly protective to the point where you're feeling suffocated. It's not like that at all. It's literally someone else can't quite believe their luck with you. Clarify groom, rabbit and the high priestess, please. <laughs> Main male. Yeah, so now we've got the feminine and the masculine principles. Um... Hmm. I'm getting analytical as well. Maybe a little bit forceful. This could be a male friend, a partner, a family member. Again, like you, you could be the main male. You could be dealing with the main male. And it, it, it's funny how it's like the groom is there and then main male. So there's a masculine type person or a man who is really really worried about them not being good enough for you here Leo they're saying that um, you're out of their league you're out of their reach journey so they need to go on this journey right it's literally change I'm getting their mindset with this one. They need to change up their mindsets because potentially that might be something that sees you taking your own little journey away from them uh, because some someone who's got low self-confidence and low self-esteem, that is a turn off for you. You much prefer a partner who is um, determined who has confidence and is sure of themselves. Yeah, see, see how you got the change card underneath that. That's why it's important to feel out the energy as well as the meaning of the card. You need to feel, feel out what's going on. Um, hmm. 
I'm feeling that slowly but surely this individual is actually starting to change their own opinion of themselves. Okay, can you clarify this, please? For our Leo Collective. What's going on with the Lion, the Three of Coins and the Courtship? The Magician. Okay. Uh, Virgo and Gemini energy, the magician. Manifesting, making something happen. Um, again, that's definitely you taking the leadership role here, Leo. You're being very, very resourceful. Okay, you're adapting here. Three of coins and the magician. You're adapting. Um, you're taking that inspired action, right? towards your new ideas you've got a lot of willpower you're very very driven at this point in time leo and you're you're the one that's initiating the changes that is required in this particular relationship okay you're the one that's taking action um it's also saying that you're tapping into all of your creative potential okay this is the time for action It's a time for action. See, so you're not sitting on your hands and waiting for things to change. You're actually doing, okay? The magician, making things happen. You're doing something. You're doing something about your situation. You're ensuring your own success. Clarify the crown, the six of swords, and the lady energy, please. The Knight of Water. Okay. I do apologize if there was a sudden cut there as well, Leo. I just, I'm struggling with my throat in your read. Um, that, that can indicate somebody has maybe been lying to you. Okay, Leo. Someone's probably been keeping their concerns a secret. And they're, they're really, really worried about something, but they're not, they're, they're, they're not actually conveying that to you okay it's literally someone's got something to say to you and they haven't done it yet and that's that's why it can come out in a read as the reader struggling with their throat <clears throat> okay night of water that's a night of cups um i'm feeling this particular combination as someone sees that you're incredibly independent they know feel well that you don't need anyone else and that's one of the main things that they love about you. But also that's one of the things that they feel threatened by as well. Okay. Well, do you know what? They need to get over it. They, they do need to get over it. Can you clarify the bride, the lovers and the clover, please? We've got the recipe for a very happy relationship, a very happy marriage. With this combination, the nine of fire. Beautiful. Standing your ground. Someone's not quitting. Someone's not giving up. And I feel that that's both of you. Neither of you are going to give up on each other. This one, this person definitely has got a lot of work to do on themselves though, Leo. Okay. They really, really do. But they're not going to give up. They're not going to quit. They're, they're every bit as determined as you are. That's someone also who's got strong boundaries and the two of fire. Okay, so this person, wh whoever this one is that's saying Leo's out of my league or whatever that was, it looks like they are um, expanding on their horizons. They're, they're changing their mind about something. Feels like they're doing something risky or they're about to take a risk towards you. Yeah, the Empress, Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine Energy. Um, oh, and Queen of Fire and the Page of Fire. Interesting. Um, hmm. That person was holding back from you, Leo. They were holding back from you because you make them feel very vulnerable. They're not comfortable with being vulnerable. They can't help but feel attracted to you, though. They're definitely very, very pulled towards you. You are their empress or they're your empress, whichever way this is working. Um, you've got the Queen of Fire and Page of Fire, so that's straight up seduction and temptation. Flirting also. Let's have a look. 
Uh, can you clarify that Empress energy, please? For Leo. Clarify the Empress for Leo, please. Thank you. So that the chariot, Cancerian energy. Yeah, willpower. Uh, that's also a card of victory and forward movement, forward momentum. This is indicating... Oh, they're faking it until they make it, cancer, uh, cancers? Random. Uh, Leo. They're faking it till they make it. I, I was focused. I was focused on that one. That's why I said cancers by mistake. Um, they're trying to follow by your example here, Leo. They're trying to emulate your your confidence. So they're faking it until they make it because they've realized that actually with their um, whole <clears throat> woe is me type mindset, it was turning you off. So that they're, they're doing a turnaround here. They're finding that self-control and that discipline, that self-discipline even. Okay. They're, they're trying to stay focused and they're definitely... Um, they're, they're determined to move something, move, what, what, why am I getting move something? Is this person, uh, are they currently sitting in their own little comfort zone and potentially they need to move away from what feels like home for them and for them that's scary? something like that if you guys are moving in with each other they could be leaving their um native land as it were and that could be scary for them but they're determined to move something forward for certain because they understand that the end result that they get it depends entirely on how much effort they put into the thing they know feel well that they're going to get out of life whatever it is that they put in Especially with that Empress, because remember it was to clarify the Empress energy, which is all like is is all about fertility, planting seeds, it's creativity. Hmm. Yeah, the King of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Something long term, so they they know feel well that this situation is a long term commitment. It's a long-term commitment. They're, they're definitely not taking this decision lightly, Leo. But then again, like, neither are you. You're not taking this decision lightly either. Taking action. Yeah. I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. It's literally the fool energy. It's the fool. It's taking that risk, taking that leap of faith, taking some kind of action. Savoring pleasure. I fully embrace bliss in my life. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very chill, relaxing. You share a lot of, the, of uh, the same interests as each other. Proceeding softly, my inner power grows in moments of quiet, quietude. Proceeding softly, so that's like uh, the hermit energy. Uh, my inner power grows in moments of quietude. Uh, it's like, that's like um, soul searching, reflection. So, someone, someone is taking their time. They don't want to rush anything. They don't want to force anything. They don't want you to feel like they're being forceful. Following your bliss, my soul sings with joy. Huh. There's a common thread here about music. You could be, uh, you, you could have met at a concert. You could both be very, very creative musically. You both could be like music artists. Um... 
There, there's a strong message here that pertains to music and a share of the of the same mu music, like you both love the same musics. Dwelling in truth, I stand in the light of truth and heal in the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. Yeah. Um, I feel that's more to do with the person that you're dealing with here, Leo. They've recognized that they're not to bring any remnants of their past into the relationship or the connection with you because that potentially is going to poison the, this beautiful thing that you have got going on here. And that they, they don't want to poison it. Hearing messages from spirit. I'm a clear channel for messages from spirit. Yeah. Um, someone is leading with their intuition. Right. Someone's got their, their crown chakra wide open. They, they've got their third eye wide open. Enlightenment, leaning into their psychic senses, um, not being blocked by any illusions, not being blocked by any sort of ego attachments. It's like releasing all of that and fully respecting and trusting in the spiritual messages that they're receiving, which could be coming in through any means. It could be coming in through music. It could be coming in through intuitive hits, through dreams. You name it, synchronicities, any any number of ways. Okay. Um, Guinevere, true love. The, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Wow. Okay, so some of you's actively manifested this beautiful connection that we see playing out. And then Maru, Mother Earth, you're called upon to help with environmentalism. Some of you's are environmentalists. Some of you's are leading by example. Uh, you just pay more attention to your carbon footprint, that sort of thing. Being more conscious and aware of um, the impact that, that we all have on the earth and you making improvements along the way. Like you understanding that, yeah, it's small beans uh, compared to everything else. But, you know, it, it still does make a difference. You called upon to help with environmentalism. Um, I'm getting a message of you helping to heal the collective as well for some of you. Address your addictions. Um, cancer's just had this one out, I think. Address your addictions. So anything that isn't anything that isn't serving you well right now it's best to address it while you can address your addictions now and do all things in moderation okay some of you could be workaholics uh, some of you could be addicted to not necessarily substances, although for a small handful of you, it could be, it could well be that you might have a dependence on something which is needing you to take a closer look at and needs you to address it. For those where it's not about that, it's saying, look, you need to take everything in moderation. You can't continue to keep pushing yourself okay then there needs to be balance and moderation to everything or you're going to end up just exhausted and then not being able to help anybody at all do you know what i mean you can't pour for an empty cup um yeah that is what i have for you leo 
It's up to you what you do with this reading. Please remember that tarot is not a scapegoat. It is not a crutch. It's a guide. It is also not your tarot reader's fault, what comes out in your reading. You're the one that's in charge of your destiny. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.